It's 2024 and Mongrel is competing with Mr. Savage for this season's FNCS. But let's watch this video and see how Mongrel won his first ever FNCS in his Fortnite competitive career. When something feels insane at the time. <laughs> I did! I did you 100 Bro, first of all, I gotta say, the all black superhero skins were so OP. Look at this. And then with the benefit of hindsight, it only feels more and more insane. The bickering. Do, 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 do. The attention. 220! Oh <laughs> the wild plays. Dude, he doesn't have this energy anymore, bro. He's all grown nice, up bro. now. He's all grown up. Nice! Each player's individual greatness. Nice. This was Mongrel, Benji, oh, and Mitro, yes. right? Mushy plays! Don't ever fucking contest me! Because you get one VC but mostly Losers! the audacity to pursue their goal in the craziest way imaginable. Rosie gets sniped. This is the story of Mongrel, Mitro, and Taysen. Oh, Mongrel, Mitro, Taysen. All right, all right. When the right characters I remember come when together it was Mongo, at the Mitro, right Benji. time in the right place, you can expect a great story. Harry meeting Ron and Hermione at Hogwarts. Luke Skywalker meeting Obi-Wan Kenobi and Han Solo on Tatooine. The forming of the Fellowship of the Ring. Standing with all these great stories is Mongrel, Mitro, and Taysen in Season 4 FNCS. One of the, go the, one of the go to seasons Fortnite ever. Chapter 2 Season 4, affectionately known as a Stark Season, was a second peak of Fortnite. Agreed. The pump was back. There was Marvel theme with POIs, Look at me, bro, with the bandana and mythic abilities. And then Fortnite turned good to great with an incredible mid-season update. Video, we have a huge Fortnite update <laughs> that brought the now iconic. That was one of the Stark biggest updates and best the updates they've ever one done. One of Fortnite's most beloved POIs. It came with a fall biome, a vault, mega chest, and supercars. And now for the characters. This was Trio FNCS, and EU had some stacked ones. FNCS solo invitational champion Giannis teamed up with FNCS Ooh. duo champion Andalex and x -Suiz. Flick, Anas, and Thomas HD, three superstars who came together looking for their first championship. Benji and Mr. Savage teamed up with Lechi. And finally, the story's protagonist, established stars, Mongro and Mitro teaming up with the reigning solo FNCS champion, Tayson. While it was grand finals that people remember, the lead up had its fair share of memories. The map had two power POIs, Doom's Domain mm -hmm. and Stark Industry. The off-spawn fights for each were massive during qualifying. Special, especially Benji, Stark. Savage, Lechi were facing off at you get guaranteed with purple Akra, and gold pumps. and Noah Riley. These fights were super memorable, with both teams having great moments. Oh, oh, come on, bro. And then things escalated. Dream sniping. Like, <laughs> dream for, sniping. For, you guys, like, they're in this stream, bro. Like, I, I'm talking about, and I'm looking at my friends, this, and they removed me, bro. Like, <laughs> I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. Benji and team actually moved drop spots in the middle of heats, but Aqua pushed them. Yeah, they left. They, 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 left, they, they, left, they left the game. They left the game. They're stream sniping and leaving the game. Leave the game. Like, oh, I don't remember this drama. They, they actually just to get back. Aqua wound up getting suspended. What? So Aqua claimed it was for something he tweeted, meanwhile, at Stark Industries. Mongrel, Mitro, and Taysen were also contested. Not a great plan. And while it got dramatic, they locked it down in style. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Chill. Chill. Ooh, that siphon just saved him. The purple pumps, bro. Go! Let's go! <laughs> Mongro, Mitro, and Tayson managed to have oh, Stark uncontested clip. for grand finals. And since Mongro streamed all the qualifiers and cash cups, the world got a glimpse into their interesting team dynamic. Ooh, Tayson wants to do the god IGL. Do we listen to the IGL, Tayson? Hmm, let's have a think about this, though. Bro, he's literally blending with the ground. Yeah. And the clips go on. 
Bow, 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 bow. Bro, they were they were so crazy They're back not. then. Bro, tell you so we're not hearing many comms from the little IGL dude. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, what are you guys doing, man? What are you doing? I need some comms though. No, no, wait, you, we're not even saying anything. Yeah. So could a team this dysfunctional actually win a championship? And what was at stake for each of them? Mitro was one of the first great European competitive stars. He can actually send him. Oh! No, that was such a great play. That was such a great play. And at the beginning of 2019, had his hat in the ring for the best player in the world. Uh, we actually asked all of our competitors here in the arena who they thought was the best Fortnite player in the world. Mitro. 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 He qualified to do a World Cup with Mongrel, but was not able to qualify for solos. And with his failure to win FNCS after a dominant run in Season X, Mitro needed another tournament major win to secure his legacy. Today, we all know Taysen. He's the highest earning online player in Fortnite history, a five-time EU FNCS champion, including two solo FNCS. Bro, I miss Siphon, bro. I think just won. But at this point, he was pretty new to the scene. He was not able to qualify for World Cup, but people started to take notice after a fifth place at the Solo Invitational Finals, which he followed up with his first FNCS win in Chapter 2 Season 3. And then he teamed up with Mitro and this legend to continue his rise. He needs no introduction. Fortnite's greatest prodigy. Mixed insane gameplay with viral personality, <laughs> qualified for both solos and duos World Cup. I remember the first time <laughs> placed well in both uh, I knew about Mongrel is when he got invited the to the Friday Fortnite and they ended up winning on like 100 ping. Came close to winning FNCS in Season X as part of the iconic MMB. And close again in Squad FNCS. So his quest for getting a championship was getting an insane amount of attention. Like number one on Twitch and 10 million views on YouTube level attention. And like Mitro, you know what's funny is now in 2024, like he just had, he was number one on Twitch uh, last month. Like he dethroned uh, Clicks and Hours Watched. The stage. After Clicks went on like a 13 month streak. Going into grand finals, predictions were all over the place. We're gonna go straight to Mongrel solo clutching. The Lone Rangers of the EU! Nice! And bang! Rojo gets bopped right there from Mongrel! But CRR, Wolfies, and Kinzel taking the win. In game two, Mongrel takes height and style. Here he goes! Mongrel going in! Oof. Mongrel with the bop! Mongrel with the knock! And then down currently sitting on seven eliminations and just trying to finish this one out game number two in europe is going to go to taste it jeez tasting at that aim it's just a matter of time duck on top tries to make a play and squeeze gets swatted down andalix gets swatted down last player out in the zone he's tagged out they find the elimination two that's janice cleaned up there 10 eliminations in the victory royale mantled their way up to the top of the leaderboard in game three confidence At this part of the competition they did really well and they catch me they only played six games back line. then or is it 12. he just got beamed he was walking out the front door and he gets hit with the clown emo oh my goodness they're feeling it sundown mitro takes his turn to solo clutch as mitro picks up an elim on the low ground but tason goes out and now mitro goes up with the shockwave crash pads himself back in and now he's up on the high ground with a huge one oh, into 104 and mitro in the bottom right hand corner has soul ground so control of high ground as a solo. Oh my goodness, Mitro, you madman. You have height right now, and the world is your oyster. What an unbelievable Ooh. play to take it. Oh, no and a, what? No Just way. Knock two With the big time like knock. Mitro is cooking up here, and we're getting into the final moments. A top two situation. And Alex, Yanis, and Duck on top. X Squeeze are going to have to hold down as Mitro does go down. But Yanis, Andalex, and X Squeeze take the win and jump into first. Game four ended with Lecce coming ever so close. Unfortunately, this would be the peak of the tournament for Mr. Savage, Benji, and Lecce. To close out day one, Mongrel, Tayson, right, so and Mitro games total. took height. Best from start to finish, wire to wire. We the Stark rifle, the bro. That we thing was diffy, bro. The world. If Mongrel's on his that feet, thing was so good. mowing down the competition. And from the top down, E11, Tayson, 
Phase Mongrel and Liquid Mitro says Europe is ours and you're going to have to pry it from our hands here. And Dreda falls like a fly. I drop down on the backside. Stir Six and Vettel are going to try and 2v3 clutch it up. But honestly, they're, not they're heading to. in to a buzzsaw of our top trio. The Stark Industries veterans closing it out here. And can they get yet another victory royale to cement that top spot on the leaderboard going Ooh, into day two? Jump shot. Stir Six goes up to challenge, but he just gets swatted back down. And you have to think this is just a matter of moments, Sancho. A matter of moments, and there it is! The moment complete! The victory royale! We're gonna finish day one in first place. Finals accrued by Mongrel, Tayson, and Mitro. Ending the day in first place. By 30 place. points. But they would be tested on day two. In game six, they built a healthy lead, and it grew in game seven. And this is why what? Mitro drops Another win. down, Tayson, and Mongrel. That's three out of uh, eight games. Barrel three wins. Zone. In game eight, they finally got contested and went down off spawn. Flick, Thomas HG, and Anas win. First place was back in play. And Thomas oh, man. HD clutches it up there. Well done, Louis. Going How close is it now after that? 15 eliminations. In game nine, they're shambles early. Fall right after, but eke out a few elimination points. And there. It oh, it's not looking good. Go. 21st for Mongo, Micho, and Tasten. They get six points. Before we move on with the main story, we just wanted to show Hen flashing his future greatness. Oh my goodness, Hen's on hide the tree. So, right now so clutching? The right now of Thomas HT and Hen. Hen is raining down some fire and they're going to go down into the arms he has of Thomas no HT. Hen and Thomas pick up Elims. No build for Thank Hen. You. Oh. This is an opportunity. An opportunity. Oh my God. Yes, Solo clutch. And gets Thomas HD and Munch. Oh my goodness. Hen. That is crazy. 10, That's a crazy solo play. Tournament. I don't remember seeing Neutro. that. Mongrel, Tayson switched up their spot. Actually, we're going to swing. Hello? Way oh, away you guys remember the little here. golf balls? Mongrel the little Tayson like Ant-Man drops? And go down again. The closer it gets, people finally start wondering if we will see a oh, historic dude. collapse. I'm very concerned that Janice is going to take this away, right? His trio is only 20 points behind. This is striking distance. They can do this. And then they mixed up their drop again. Mixing up the drop multiple times go in, down. in the FNCS but finals is Giannis, crazy. Giannis, and Andalix, the second place team, cannot fully convert on this opportunity. Ooh, and that's crazy. in game 12, they land on them. made the bold call they to land, land on them. Sweaty Sands and contest Giannis' team. He knows they have to and kill them. they him. go down before securing any placement points. Mongrel on 20 HP, Mitro on 20 HP, and when it looked like they had it all boxed up when they had the trophy. Oh, but Giannis and the them the are still alive. were counted before the eggs were hatched, and now it all comes crashing down. The door is wide open. Andalix, Janus, X Squeezed, AKA Duck on Top. They only got one of those eliminations, but the one point is now gonna close the gap. And now the math begins. They were 20 points down to start. Can they find the 19 points to make the difference here? And on this day, history was made. They did not clutch up. That was kind of a sudden end right said, there, but true. yo, it's crazy to see that. It's crazy to see Mongrel after all these years still competing at the highest level. This is a really well-made video from Clutch Up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and show him some love as well. Only 20k subs, but he's super underrated.